Chris the Nightmare Ariel, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, so I'm on BoxingScene.com right now, and I see an interesting article. Anthony Joshua says Klitschko should leave on a positive note and forget about the rematch. I'll leave this article in the description box for you guys, and like always on my channel, you can click it, read it, and come to your own surmise about it. Now, I'm sure there is an actual interview to this article so if you guys uh come across that audio please leave me a link to it in the comment section i can give it a listen but boxing scene took a little part from the uh interview let me just read what joshua had to say klitschko lost to me but he still went away a winner but during the rematch there will be built and pride at stake but you know this is exactly the type of fight when he thinks he can beat me and when i already have something to lose I would definitely try it, but I'm not Vladimir. And I do not know what he wants. But if he listened to me, I would say, friend, it was an amazing performance. You were very good, but you did not win. So leave on a positive note and let the other guys take your place. It's funny because if I would have came out with a video, well, I actually have came out with these videos. Saying exact same thing that Joshua said. The Joshua fans would get, would get on me. Well, some of them will get on me for that. Like, oh, no, you're stopping his money. You know, uh, he should get another fight, and make a big payday and blah, blah, blah. And I agree with Anthony Joshua, man. Um, it's, you know, especially the part when he says, let the other guys take your place, meaning let them have the spotlight of the division right now. Everything Klitschko's done in his career, it's, it's cemented. It is cemented, man. Like, legendary future Hall of Famer, 18, I believe it was 18 successful title defenses, um, he held three of the four titles. I know his brother Vitaly had the WBC um, during part of his run. So he never, you know, he wasn't going to fight his brother to become fully undisputed. But he was the next best thing to an undisputed champion as far as, you know, holding or coming close to holding four of the titles. Uh, he went after undefeated fighters. Brian Jennings fought Fury, fought Pulev, um, Pavekin. I mean, the list goes on and on. I know I'm forgetting a lot of other fighters, but the list goes on and on. You know, so it's already cemented. He's 41 years old. I don't expect him to get better. You know, I think he's way past his peak or past his peak. Um, I think he is still formidable. I think he could still, on paper, should be maybe a favorite. Or if he is, if or if he is the underdog, not by much against the other guys, against some of the other top guys in the division. You know, so... But with that said, though, I, to me, I don't think there's anything else to prove as a fan looking at it. I'm sure Klitschko, you know, these these guys have different things that motivate them. Even a guy that's a future Hall of Famer, he have different goals. Maybe he wants a win, a solid win over a top guy before he loses or I mean, before he retires. You know, maybe he doesn't want to go out on a loss, even that a lot of fans are applauding him and congratulate him even in the loss. Maybe he doesn't want to go out like that. But anyways, man, uh. You know, Joshua, he, uh, I can tell that it's not just about the money for him, you know, and I'm pretty sure in some other interviews, he probably has a slightly different opinion about this or maybe, maybe not, but it doesn't seem like he's pressing a rematch for the money. Like I want the money. I want the money. He know he went through hell to win that fight. He got dropped on his back too, man. So he know he went through hell to beat Klitschko. Um, maybe he doesn't want that type of fight going into his next fight. Although it's not, you know, it's not safe to uh, say that because um, if he doesn't fight Klitschko, what I'm hearing is he's going to fight Pulev next. That'd be his next fight is Pulev. And I think they're talking about October, November, somewhere around there. I heard that uh, those two months be mentioned as far as his uh, return from Eddie Hearn himself um, on an IFL TV interview. So, you know, maybe he'd rather fight a Pulev. You know, maybe and not the and not the no shade on Pulev, but um, should Klitschko fought Pulev and beat him up? You know, um, so maybe he doesn't want to fight Klitschko next. You know, so it's not necessarily all about the money. It doesn't seem like for him, um, or maybe just ready just to move on. Like he passed that test and he wants to move on and you know get these mandatories out the way and try to go on and try to complete this undisputed puzzle. You know, um with wilder and, and parker or whoever has the other titles when it's time to fight them you know so 
I agree with Anthony Joshua, man. I agree, like, you know, with Vladimir, you know, you went out, you know, man, you went out on your shield, man, and you've accomplished a lot. You just, nobody's just going to remember you from just getting knocked out. It doesn't work like that. Just like we just don't remember Joe Lewis falling through the ropes and um, getting knocked out by Marciano. Um, you look at, the, you know, his overall career, man, just like, well, at least for me, I don't remember guys just like that. Yes, it's a part of their legacy, but when you look at somebody's legacy, you always highlight what are some of the best things that they did during their run. And yes, you also talk about some of their downfalls. But um, to me, I think Vladimir Klitschko will be remembered more than just being stopped by Anthony Joshua. You know what I mean? So, but hey, it's up to Klitschko, man. I can talk until I'm blue in the face, man. This is up to Klitschko and what he wants to do. Um, I'm sure that Joshua uh, will accept the challenge, obviously, and take the fight and go ahead and fight him if he has to in, in a rematch. It is um, part of the contract. We're just waiting on Klitschko to make his decision. He's saying he will have a decision by early June. All right, so what's that, about a few weeks now? So hopefully Vladimir moves on just because I want to just see these new mixes and matches of fights, and I want to see these mandatories get out the way. And uh, maybe in the next year or probably next two years max maybe we might see an undisputed champion you know but um if the rematch happens man the first fight was a very good fight very enter entertaining fight and you know like i said klitschko put joshua on his back and joshua had to go through hell and hot water to get that uh title man that was not that was not easy by any by by any stretch so if it happens cool i'm gonna watch it if he decides to move on to hey man i applaud vladimir klitschko in his great run you know arguably to some fans i hear some fans say He's top five in their opinion. I've heard some guys say top 10. I've heard some guys have him in their top 15. Um, so however you want to rate it, however you want to do it, he is one of the best heavyweights um, that I've seen fight. You know, I'm going to keep it real with you. Um, but he had a good career, man. And wherever you rank him is where you rank him, man. But you guys let me just think in the comment section. I'm out.